Hey guys, so cueing or prompting is what we do as trainers uh, to our clients to make sure that they have the correct technique. Now, as I'm not there with you in person, it's really important that you read the instructions that I have on uh, the exercise, okay? They're very specific about technique uh, and watch the videos to assess and, and, uh, and try to mirror that technique. Um, undoubtedly, the most uh, important and the most frequent cue that I use is tucking the tailbone under, okay? It's called a posterior tilt. And what I want you to do is imagine that you have a tail and imagine that you're tucking it under your pelvis and tucking your tail between your legs, okay? And this is what it should look like. <clears throat> Most of us in standing will have a, a, an accentuated lordosis, okay? From people that sit, tend to spend a long time sitting, uh, the hips will tighten up and it'll tilt the, uh, the pelvis forward. It stops the glutes from working. So. I want you to practice standing straight and tucking your tailbone under. So that involves squeezing the glutes. You'll see my deeper core, my belly button draws in as well. So everything stabilizes. Core is on, glutes are on, and my lower back flattens out. This is crucial to do in many exercises, okay? It protects your back, also works the glutes, okay? You don't want to be doing exercises where you're arching or relying on your back, okay? It's a possibility that it will lead to, to, uh, to injury. So take lunges for example, okay? With a lunge, what is quite common is that people as they go down, they'll allow the tightness in their hips to arch their back further, okay? Whether it's a split squat, a lunge, a reverse lunge, I want you to make sure that you're tucking your tailbone under, flattening the lower back. When you do this, you're gonna notice a bit more tightness on the front of the quad, okay? That's normal, that's actually a good thing. So we're gonna tuck under, and then we're gonna go into the lunge. You might not be able to get as far down because of that tightness, but that's much better. You're protecting the back, your glutes are on, okay, and your core is on, right? So once again, we don't want to go into a lunge or a split squat, accentuating that arch. We want to tuck under, glutes on, lower belly on, come down, okay, much more stable position. Okay, same thing uh, with, say, a kneeling uh, shoulder press. So in a shoulder press position, Due to maybe a lack of mobility in the shoulders, some people will tend to lean back to try and get those weights up. First thing, maybe you need to drop the weights, okay? Maybe you need to go lighter. Maybe you need to work on a little bit more shoulder mobility, which is discussed in the, in the mats and in the warm-ups. Uh, but the same thing with the shoulder press, I want you to tuck under with the tailbone, glutes on, stabilize the lower back, and then go through your shoulder press as normal, okay? These are crucial. So, Tucking the tailbone under, really, really key that you learn that movement and that you're able to perform it with any exercise that you're instructed to, okay? So I'm gonna show you a drill that you can do against the wall just to check that you've got it correct. Okay, so if you're struggling with this movement, come up against the wall and bring your feet out. The further out your feet are, the easier it will be, okay? So with your feet out further, your back flat on the wall, get your shoulders back, practice tucking your tailbone under so that there's no gap or there's very little gap in the lower back, okay? And if you find in order to do that, you have to really bend the knees and drill into the wall, again, that may mean that you're tight through the hips, uh, tight through the lower back, and uh, that your core is a little bit weak, okay? So bring your feet out as far as you need to in order to flatten and learn to tuck that tailbone under, okay? And again, you'll notice as soon as I do that, my lower belly, my lower, my lower abs, my core switches on, my glutes are on as I'm pushing into the floor, okay? Pushing into the floor, but my knees aren't bending, okay? If that's too easy or you get better at that, I want you to bring your feet up closer to the wall. So the more vertical you are, the harder this exercise gets. But once you're up as close as you can to the wall, try tucking under and try relaxed breathing for about five to 10 breaths. 10 breaths is optimal. Just holding that contraction. Notice I'm not splinting. I'm relaxed through my upper body. It's just the lower abs that are working and I've got that full tuck, that tailbone is tucked between my legs. I want you to practice this movement at home, practice it in the gym before you start. Um, but yeah, you've got to nail this technique, okay? This will improve everything involved in your fitness, okay? Your hips will be better balanced, your lower back will be protected, and your glutes are gonna work better. So uh, give those a try, and uh, I'll catch you soon.